Hey everyone, we're here. It's Thursday. You know what that means. It's Throwback Thursday. We're going to look back at some of the best moments in Whistler with Finn Isles. How are you, Finn? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you, Elliot. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So one of the things I was thinking about is usually when I talk to you, there's like, what, seven, eight races a year. And now you're about to do 12 races in three weeks. Have you like... I don't even know. Tell me about that. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a definitely a little bit of a different feeling having so many races in such a short period of time. But I think that actually that takes the pressure off me and takes the pressure off the whole event itself because you have so many chances every single week to make points for the overall instead of it being like a World Cup, wait three weeks, a World Cup, wait a month. And there's like no travel, no jet lag or anything like that. So I feel like your mind will always be in the right place. Um, especially because I'm at home and just having fun on my bike. It's just like a big summer camp road trip. And uh, it seems like everybody's having a really good time so far. It makes me happy. You know, the moment that stands out for me the most is uh, in 2014, when the hashtag started, let Finn in to the whip off. Uh, how did that get started? I always wondered. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot that went into that and more that, more than my 14-year-old uh, mind could really comprehend. I felt like I was just kind of out there riding my bike and people were like, yeah, like, you're sick, dude. Like, just keep doing it. And I think there's a lot of people that sort of stuck their neck out for me and uh, really pushed for me to get into this event. And um, I think it really started with Katrina Strand. Um, I know Adam Billinghurst, a few guys at Vital. And I'm pretty sure Sven Martin had something to do with it as well. Um, but Vital came to Whistler, we made this video, and uh, gnarly. that went out. Yeah, <laughs> that went out, and they, <laughs> they, uh, they went with the hashtag Let Finn In, and it sort of took off, and um, I guess the rest is history, because this sort of put my name in the biking world, and then the following year, I, I ended up with like a World Cup team, and um, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. It was that. a crazy day. Yeah. A lot of, <laughs> a lot, a lot of emotions on that day. <laughs> No, that is, that's so cool. I feel like all of us were like, you You obviously should win. You were just crushing it. And, you know, the other thing, I feel like it says a lot that you're from Whistler and have all these great moments there. The other one, you know, that stands out is the, the A-line win in 2018 on your birthday. I think that was the first race win I'd ever had. No, it's my first elite race win in Whistler, especially having it on my birthday was like such a cool feeling because all my friends and family were there and we don't really have like, yeah, I don't race Crankworks that often because we're like at World Cups and stuff. So being able to be there this year and get a win in the A-line was so massive for me. Um, honestly, I didn't expect it. And I, <laughs> you can see there, I was just hammered for it. I really wanted it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'd say this is definitely one of my top five race moments because just the whole thing, my parents were there and it was on my birthday, my 19th birthday. So uh, it was a big deal, big deal for me. Yeah. yeah. I feel like for you, being from Whistler, having Crankworks, like you said, maybe not getting to race it a lot, do you feel more pressure there than, like, say, a World Cup? I wouldn't say I feel more pressure. I feel, uh, I guess I'm kind of saying the same thing. I feel more expectation, but that's more expectation for myself because I want, because I don't race in Whistler as much as I do basically everywhere else in the world, I want to perform because I know my friends and family are going to be there. Um, but I find that I normally do my best when I have that expectation on me because mm -hmm. when I expect that out of myself, my mind is always like fully switched on and just, just do it, you know? All right, Finn, thank you so much for your time. I have been loving commentating. You're making my job easy. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff going on. So good luck in the next few weeks and uh, looking forward to seeing you out there. Yeah, thank you, Elliot. Looking forward to it too. Um, been loving getting back between the tape and uh, yeah, hopefully the next two weeks go as well as this week. Yeah, baby. Sweet. I'm sweaty. This All is right. Stressful. Oh, we're going to keep that on tape. That's on the, the recorder. Oh, yeah. <laughs>